who are working with it? Do you know who is on this case now? Sure. Uh, I I don't have insider information, mm -hmm. uh, but but I know which people worked in Turkey's previous intervention in the advisory opinion I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. There was a list of five or six people. Of course, Turkey might have used more people in the drafting of the document. But those people who were officially registered as, as councils for Turkey, uh, there are six people, I think. Only one of them is a lawyer. Uh, yes. And his expertise is not on international law. His, his PhD is on private law. So he's an expert in real, real property. He, he, he can be an expert in rental contracts or, um, I don't know, uh, civil procedure maybe. Uh, but he, he, he's, he isn't even a public law expert, let alone a public international law expert. So he has, uh, apart, from, uh, apart from working for the ministry and apart from perhaps having international law in the undergraduate studies, sort of two courses for the entire uh, curriculum, uh, this person doesn't seem to have any expertise. He doesn't have any publications on international law, at least any anything I can find on uh, easily on Ulakbime and other databases. Mm -hmm. So um, maybe he's a very competent lawyer. I don't know. I, I don't want. I don't know this person. I don't know his uh, his credentials. But he he isn't a public international law expert. And so this is an insult to. Not uh, so. This is an insult to public international law community in Turkey. It's a very fragile community. It's not a very successful community. Uh, not many international publications. Uh, there are some people barely speaking English. So I'm very critical of my own community. But there is still a community, and there are really good experts in in public universities uh, and and and, and vakuf universities, private universities. I don't want to use the name private. It's different. Um, um, all universities are public institutions in Tur under Turkish law, so it's a, it's a different structure. Uh, so there are people, uh, at least academic experts on this field, which the Turkish government could have utilized. Mm -hmm. But instead, they are choosing people uh, who are just uh, sort of politically uh, mm -hmm. close to the government and who are uh, lawyers, but who are not public international lawyers.